Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, The Real Zion Horton here with another video, another vlog. Um, and today, man, uh, I just want to take y'all with me on my mama workout. Um, like I said in my last video, if no one ever told y'all that they love y'all and they're proud of y'all, I love y'all, I'm proud of y'all. First and foremost, you know, get it out the way, you know, thank God for another day. Um, like I said, never give up on your dreams. Um, I got something to tell you guys, um, you know, YouTube, you know, I feel like my channel, you know, you guys are like a family to me. You are my family. You're my YouTube family. Uh, all the people that subscribe to me, all the people that show support and things like that. I really appreciate it. I do. Um, so, you know, yeah, with that being said, um, yeah, I, I got something to tell you guys. I got some, you know, it, it hurts me, when, you know, when I found out. Uh, I guess it's true what they say. Your past will always catch up, like, with you. So, um... Yeah, but I'm about to go to Ultimate Soccer, uh, get this workout in, and, uh, you know, I'll let you guys know all the details and everything once we get there for the workout, so, you know, catch y'all there. All right, yo, what up, y'all? All right, so uh, I just arrived at Ultimate Soccer. Um, I called them on the phone like an hour ago, really before I left the crib, and uh, they told me, you know, for walk-ins, it's $10, which I already knew that. Because uh, I've worked out here before, you know, I helped host the camps here. I've been in camps here, things like that. But anyway, um, you know, and he told me, you know, it, it's a field available, you know, if it's not, you know, no activities or things going on of that nature. And excuse the, you know, the acne, whatever. That, but anyway, uh, yeah, so I've seen like a couple people with their kids, you know, go in. So it might be something going on, like a, a, a practice or something. I'm not really too sure. But uh, we, we about to go in here, you know, we about to see if we can get a field, then, hey, we in business. You know what I'm saying? And also, uh, I just want to say shout out to Rising Stars, you know, Coach Wins, Reggie Wins. Uh, if you're from Michigan and you, you know about Rising Stars, then you know what I'm talking about. I love him, man. That's my uncle. That's my uncle, man. You know, I love him to death, man. You, you, you see it, Rising Stars, man. You see it. But so, you know, shout out to him, man. He, he you know, he helped change my life, man. Uh, if you, a lot of you don't know, you know, football saved me, and he, you know, he was part of that, so, yeah, but we just about to go in here, you know, get this workout in, um, I'm gonna tell you guys what I want, what I said I was gonna tell you at the beginning of the video, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you when we get up in here, hopefully we can get a feel, and, uh, let's do this, let's do it. Alright, y'all, so, just got, you know, like I said, put up thoughts to my soccer. We got our um, we got our field. You know what I'm saying? Every, I've been coming here for years. I, I had you know seven on sevens here in high school. You know I, I've helped coach camps here. I've been in camps here. You know I come here for daily training for Rising Stars. Um, so you know this this place means a lot to me. And uh, I'm about to get a workout in here, but you know for some reason they tried to put the price up it's always been ten dollars you know just you know for open field come in work out like an hour which is not bad and you know they said 20 i'm like oh, okay but you know hey gonna make it do what it do we gonna gotta get that work in somehow some way so i'm about to um actually i can show y'all like with the how big the field is things like that and then i'm gonna go get changed and we can get straight to it so uh yeah all right, guys, so this is Ultimate Soccer. Uh, as you can see, this field is huge. It's very huge, you know. Uh, and it's like three or four fields here, and they have like more outside. Uh, again, like I said, this is where I do training, things like that. You know, uh, out, outside, which I'm gonna go show you now, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is my, you know, my football bag. I got all my football equipment, things like that. I got my cleats right here. Um, it's just me, so. I trust, you know, my bag and cleats to sit right there. I trust somebody's gonna take it. So I'm about to go get changed right quick, you know, change to my, my workout gear and things by showing y'all around, uh, you know. That's like maybe candy and things like that. And just some small stuff right, you know, right over there. Restrooms is right over there as well, right where I'm pointing. That's a field in front of us. This is where we usually have like, you know, meetings and things like that. Team meetings, you know, rising stars, camp meetings for the parents, things like that. Store. And 
like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I, I have something to tell you guys. Um, it, it hurts me a lot, you know. But it, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to figure out something, though. I've always been the type to figure out something. So I'm going to do it. And it's a field right there. And if you go up, you can... I don't know how to get up there exactly. I've never been up there, but you can go up there, too. But uh, I'm going to go get changed. So I'll hit you guys back when I get changed. All right, guys, so I'm all dressed now. Uh, I just got them rocking the you know, Under Armour Thermal, uh, rocking the Under Armour Soccer Socks, you know, just some, you know, just throw on, and let's do this. All right, so as y'all can see, it's my workout, you know, football at the bag. So, you know, I got a parachute, got some gloves. I got hella gloves. Like, it's so many, I got so many gloves, man. So many cleats, but I'm a, what you could say, cleat fanatic and glove fanatic. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got my drills set up that I'm going to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Got, you know, just something I'm going to begin with. First and foremost, I'm going to start off with stretching, though. And I'm going to try, you know, I'm going to try and get some running in, too. So I might, I might end up using the whole field. Um, but the thing I wanted to tell y'all was that. Um, so it, it's, it's this. Um, you know. And some people, you know, may laugh at me. Some people, you know, make may make fun of me. And, uh, you know, that's okay. You know, like I said, I've been bullied before. Um, I have people laugh at me before. You know, still laugh at me to this day. But I, and I tend to still prove them wrong. Um, although God has blessed me, I still have four years left of college ball. Because when I played Juco, I partially tore my MCL. So um, I got that year back. So now I have four years of college football, um, which is a blessing. But um, so if you guys remember, um, I think I said this in like two of my videos, but uh, I dropped out of college before. Um, I was in a dark place, you know, like I said, deal with depression. I was going through so much and uh, I just I, I I couldn't take it. bro. I just I, I dropped out, just stopped going. Then, you know. Stop doing the work, things like that, because it was just so much going on. You know, I really didn't have no help at the time, too. You know, like when I say I had help, you know, people that could relate to what I was going through. You know, some people like, oh, you, you can do it. Like, you know, oh, it ain't that big of a deal. No, like, I, you know, I didn't have nobody to actually relate. You know, just actually wanted to, you know, help me in my situation, sit down and talk to me about it. So, um, you know, I didn't think too much of it. So, and that was, what, about two years ago now, two or three years ago now, I dropped out. Um, so, I came back home, you know, was earning all, you know, start earning offers on the bus tour, da 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 whoop woo But let's just fast forward anyway. So, um, you know, with me still being new to college and things like that, I never knew that, you know, if you didn't withdraw for those classes, you know, you, you just, it, it count towards your GPA. So, anyway, um... Once I got my year back from JUCO, because I was ineligible before then because of that, um, I contacted the NAIA. If you guys don't know, my school here is on the Christian is the NAIA. Um, you know, and we, we, you know, I tried to get my eligibility status situated because I've never played in NAIA before. I've only played, I've only played JUCO. So um, they said I was ruled ineligible until I got that letter saying I can get my year back, which I did. Uh, once I got the letter back, you know, they still ruled me ineligible, and I was wondering why. And they said because um, although I got the, the year back, my, my GPA needed to meet a, a 2.0 overall. And come to find out, I have a 1.4, 1.5 4, GPA. And that kind of hurt me, you know. I'm, I'm So right now I'm ineligible. I haven't suited up, you know, and played in the game in two years, so now it'll be three. And uh, what hurts me is I don't know, you know, whether – should I just, you know, give up college ball and just go straight to the pros, you know, go hit up some CFL tryouts? Like I said, I've already received an invite to one, you know, so just hit up CFL tryouts or, you know, I don't I don't know what I should do. You know, people, like I said, they tend to laugh at me like, ha ha, you know, you're this, you're that, you're stupid, you're never going to make it. Um, because tell you the truth, I'm really supposed to be a junior in college right now, but, you know, everybody's path is different everybody's situation is different so i'm still a freshman you know of course through the credit wise 
Um, like I said, so, like, I have four years of college ball left. You know, some people is in my ear telling me, maybe look at this as a blessing. God, you know, saying, hey, I gave you four, you know, I gave you four years of college ball. So once you become eligible, you still have four years of play. Then you can go to the pros, you know, and then I'm, I'm you know, I, I tend to, like I said, people laugh at me, you know, make fun of me. But I, I tend to, you know, probably, how do I say it? How do I say it? Look in the other like I, 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 it's like I tend to wish I was somebody else sometimes. You know, some people say never wish you was another person. Um, but like for example, I'm, I'm looking at guys in the league that's 20 and stuff. You know, now and I'm with me being I'm 20 now. Um, I'll be 21 in April. You know, looking at that, you know, I've you know, I've cried. You know, I've just sat by myself sometimes thinking like, damn. You know, I should be a junior in college right now, getting ready for my senior year, getting ready for the draft. You know, and then someone told me, you know, don't worry about that. You know. The average person, you know, that goes to the league is like 25, 26, you know. Just because you see some young 20-year-olds, you know, that's that's okay. But the average person 25, 26, so, you know, that kind of helped me a little bit. But it's like I'm stuck between, you know, should I just, you know, finish out, you know, get more experience and stuff under my belt, you know, playing college ball, then go hit up some tryouts or, you know, get, and get drafted, or, you know, should I just go straight to the pros now, you know, and somebody told me, you know, if, if I do go straight to the pros, I give up all my college eligibility. So, um, I'm just thinking on what I should do, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, because like I said, you're my YouTube family, uh, you know, I feel like I can talk to you guys about stuff, um, you know, some of you actually listen, I read the comments on my last video, I appreciate all the comments, I, again, I love and I'm proud of y'all. Um, but it like over it's, it's been a long tough ride for me, man. You know, it, it really has. Uh, I'm never, you know, the type to you know say, you know, okay, I'm done. You know, like with football, because I'm going to make the NFL. This is my passion. I'm going to make it. It's just my path is different from others. So, um, and, you know, and yes, I am an IEP student. If you don't know what an IEP student is, uh, you can look that up. Um, so I do tend to struggle in school, but my GPA is the way it is, not because, you know, and I'm, I'm not stupid or anything. It's just because, you know, I just I was going some, through some things and I dropped out without, I guess, withdrawing the class. So that's why my GPA the way it is. My, my girl, you know, it's not like, you know, oh, damn, you know, you, you get what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, but I'm about to get this workout in. I'm going to try to see if I can set up something. Cause it's just me, you know, I don't have a cameraman or anything. I'm using my phone. So I'm gonna try and see if I can set up uh, a spot where I can film my workouts where you guys, if not, um, I'll hit you guys up after the workout. But uh, yeah.